So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to solve for division problems. And for our first example, we have 2 divided by 8. The 2 is our divisor. And the 8 is our dividend. So now we get into the problem. 2 times 2 goes into 8 how many times? 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 goes into 8 4 times. Eight minus eight is zero. So our quotient is four. And that's our final answer. Our second example we have seven divided by forty two. Our Divisor is seven. And our dividend is forty two. Seven goes into four zero times. So we leave it like that, but seven does go into forty two six times so because seven times six is forty two so write six on top of the two on top of the last number because se seven goes into forty two it does not go into four so seven times six is forty two so we subtract forty two minus forty two and zero so so our quotient Our quotient is 6, and that's our final answer. Our third example, we have 7 divided by 44. Our divisor is 7. And our dividend is Seven goes into four zero times, but seven does go into forty four six times. So make sure we put the six on top of the last number because six seven does not go into four, it goes into forty four. Seven times six is forty two. 44 minus 42 is 2, and our remainder is 2. So our final answer will be 6 with a remainder of 2. For our last example for division, we have 7 divided by 430. The 7 is our divisor, and 432 is our dividend. 7 goes into 4 zero times, but 7 goes into 43. Six times. Because seven times six is forty two. So forty three minus forty two is one. Bring down the two down, and we have twelve now. 
So 7 goes into 12 how many times? 7 goes into 12 one time. Because 7 times 1 is 7. So 12 minus 7 is 5. So our remainder is 5. So our answer will be 61 with a remainder of 5.